guys, we're back from Tech Geeks with a pair of wireless sport headphones. Uh, this is made by my friends at AWEI, and one of my favorite things about these is the price. Uh, under $20 on Amazon.com, you can get them for $19.99, so great price for some pretty feature-packed headphones. These got a lot going for them. I was, they're, they're not just like a throwaway, you know, pair of headphones. They're they're actually really nice. I was pleasantly surprised at how much I like them. Uh, a few key features I like, and may, might not be anything big for anybody else, but there's a left and a right on them. I, I, I like having the left and the right. I'm sorry. And these ends right here and this end, they're both magnetic. So these stick together. And... I like that because you can wrap them around your neck and just stick them together. I like it because if I'm using my laptop, I can stick them right on the laptop to keep the left and the right separate. Uh, just a couple of uh, reasons why I actually like that. Another thing I absolutely love, that is the charging port. Now, the cover looks like it's off it right now, I guess for demonstration purposes. But you can see there's a little tab on there. That is a huge deal for me because I cannot stand trying to find the charging port and open it. First of all, trying to find it uh, because everything kind of mis you know matches together with the black on black. But anyways, uh, first of all, finding it. Second of all, opening it. I can never get those things open. And these guys put a little tab on there, and it's simple to open. It makes my life just great. So there you go, uh, there they are getting ready to get connected, which connection is very fast on these, very simple. Um, I had no issues to my laptop, to an iOS device, and Android device. There's an overall picture of them. Uh, the ends, you can see they're curved a little bit, I like that, they fit really well. No hooks on them coming up here or nothing, I like that. Um, multi point connection, Bluetooth 4.1, magnetic attraction, a uh, few things I also liked, uh, I guess they'll go over the button, but I can go over it right now, uh, that's your main function button to start the pairing, there is an LED light that will flash the blue and a red, uh, pretty much the, uh, the usual deal as most of these are, um, there's also a plus and a minus. As you can see, here's the plus, minus is at the other end. Uh, that, of course, is for track skips, uh, the volume, etc. Um, the pairing is right in, right next to this main function button. You won't be, able, you can't miss it. And um, these do have uh, CBC noise reduction 6.0. Uh, I like that. Uh, on to voice calling. I loved the voice calling. And there's, I don't want to get to that voice prompt yet, but yeah. Um, the voice calling was, I had no issues with it. Uh, worked very well. Um, there's also voice prompt, which I really liked. It went straight to my Google now. Uh, I had no issues. Uh, I could ask it to call Bob. It would call Bob. I could ask it to Tell me the Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team score. No problems there. So really like that. Um, the AptX, that is for sound quality. And you get that in a lot of headphones, but they cost a lot more than this pair costs. So that was a nice built-in feature. Also, um, there they are with the magnetic ends touching. You're also going to get three sets of earbuds, small, medium, and large, a USB to micro USB charging cable in your box also. I wanted to point that out. Uh, again, there's a nice picture of the left and the rights. Uh, there the charging port's actually closed on that in that picture, so I'm kind of glad they showed one with it uh, closed also. And there is a microphone pinhole. You can see it right there. That is your microphone. But, like I said, I had no problems with these. Uh, prompt, I really like when it talks to you that you're paired or on or powered off. 
like that also. Um, let me scroll down and see if I can see anything about a warranty. I uh, wasn't sure if I saw it in the owner's manual, which the owner's manual is really nice. It's kind of small print, but still gets the job done. As far as working hours, um, six hours for talk time, four hours for playing music. Standby time was about two hours. Charging time was one hour. I got a little better than that. Uh, like I said, I had no problems with the calls. It was, uh, you know, very simple to make a call, very simple to receive a call. The voice prompt I really liked. Um, I'm trying to find a few more points that I like. But they do have a 300 uh, uh, MA battery in them, which is where you get your charging time and all that. Um, pretty much these are, like I said, simple to use. Take a call or end it. It's one single tap. You can reject a call with a second, uh, two-second press of the main function. Very simple. You can transfer a call uh, with one tap. Redial with two taps. Use the phone, phone's voice action. action boom, the phone's voice control feature to make a call. As I said, I did that through um, Google Now or whatever it's called. But uh. I didn't try it on iOS. I didn't have the phone long enough to try it. Um, volume up, tracking, and mute. That's all on your two buttons, your uh, your plus and your minus. There's a plus on the end, minus on the other end. So I, I had no problems with these. I thought they were very reasonably priced. I've used them probably 15 days in a row now to watch movies and whatnot, play a little Xbox, uh, watch TV connected you know, through Bluetooth. Um, but I had no problems, really liked them, I thought they worked out great, uh, really enjoyed the price. Um, customer service, I wanted to make a note of that because I had a few questions and they answered me within 24 hours uh, via email, very nice people. So check them out, link will be in the video description, I'll do a little hands-on demo for you guys and get you a little more acclaim to the units themselves and that's about to start right now. Okay, this is the box you're going to be getting your headphones in. It's kind of a nice box. they got a good design here. Uh, wireless sport headphones for calls and music. Uh, there's a barcode. probably goes to the website. I didn't check it, but they are compatible with smartphones, tablet or PCs, and laptops. Um, kind of goes over the mic where it's located. Uh, charging port your call button which is your main function button uh, plus and minus which is for track skips and volume but anyways back to the box I like this because it opens up like that got a little bit of I didn't cross this out I guess they did it at the factory I'm not sure why I thought they said Bluetooth 4.1 also and it says 4.0 there I'll have to look at that uh, HD audio uh, you can use two units to operate these, so two different phones can pair. Uh, like I said, it has CVC, etc., etc. I'm not going to go over all that because I pretty much did already. Um, here's something in the box. Uh, there's a little clip for hanging, like I guess at the store or something. Um, yeah, see, this is crossed out. I'm not sure why that's crossed out. Probably used to say Bluetooth 4.1 somewhere in there. Um, I, there's a discrepancy there that I got to actually look into because I think on the website it says 4.1, not 4.0. Either way, it doesn't really make a difference to me, to be honest with you. Uh, the charging time, as I said, was there is on here one hour. Uh, talk time, six hours. Play music for four hours. Um, I don't want to go over the box all that much, but that's what you're going to be getting when you get them. Inside the box is going to be this nice little compartment. Holds the headphones real nice. This is for your little miscellaneous items like your extra little buds. And there is a little clip in there, as you can see, for, uh, try and get the air out of it. There is a clip in there for, uh, you clip in your cord. Like, I like to wear it on my shirt. Um, there's a small, medium, and large buds in there, the little ear ends. Um, I believe I probably have a medium on here. I think because these look smaller so oh you know what that's for the cable too that's for wrapping a quarter on never mind there is a small medium and large though 
and I have these smalls on. I usually put the smalls on, so uh, my preference. Um, nice little charging cable. Get the company name on there. A W E I. Uh, micro USB to USB A. Looks like it's about a foot, half maybe, two feet. That doesn't bug me either because I don't wear them when I'm charging them. So onto the Bluetooth headphones themselves. As you can see, they are magnetic. Mine are stuck together. You can get pretty rough with them before they separate. So you hear that? Uh, if you look in there, you'll see the left and the rights, which I love. Big fan of telling me which side's what. Um, I have mine set up so they're ready to pair. Now for for pairing, your ba oh, looks like they might have paired themselves. You're just basically gonna oh they paired to my laptop. I'll show you how they paired to my phone though. You're basically gonna hold this for long press uh, the center button, which is your multi-function button. Um, as you can see, there's a negative here, which is your track skip and backwards and uh, volume down. There's a plus for track forward and volume up. A charging port, which I said was covered with a nice little flap that you can easily open. And there it is, opened up. Very simple. Thank goodness somebody makes one that's easy to open. Got the company name on there. And I want to make a note that the microphone is right there on the side with absolutely nothing on it. It's a little pinhole at the end. So it's the opposite side of the charging port. As I said, voice control worked great on these. I had no problems with any of that type of stuff. Uh, let's see. There they are right there. A-W-E-I-A-9-8-0-B-L. They're going to pair right now. They are our... Uh, uh, it's mainly it's I think it's because I'm paired to hold on let me unpair them from my uh, uh, Laptop That you also get a voice prompt when you're pairing So they're completely off now uh, You can See that when I scan them they'll be gone Down there is my laptop Press and hold it You'll see it go into pairing mode I actually think they're pairing automatically. Let me scan them again. It, it still should pop up. They're pairing automatically to my laptop, so that's why I'm having trouble right now. I can't get them to get into pairing mode. But that's it's my issue. It's just because I have them paired to two devices already. So either way, you saw what you're going to look for whenever you go to pair. Um... I believe there's also a default code if you run into any problems. Um, let me look that up. Uh, function, take a look. Getting connected. I know most of these. Oh, there's the, what the owner's manual is going to look like. It's kind of big, but on a bunch of slithers of paper. I don't kind of like the way they did that, but it's easy to read with the yellow background and everything. And they go over everything really nice. Uh, it's not that it, there's anything much wrong with it, except when you go to fold it up. It is like folding a map. Um, add a search, scan, pair. Okay, uh, select AWIS. Uh, you, must, you also may see uh, a passcode. Uh, you enter four zeros. So that's all I would have had to done was enter four zeros. And I would have been paired to not only my laptop but it would have cancelled one of the other two devices the headphones are connected to and connected straight to my phone um, but here's the owner's manual you can see they have nice pictures of everything uh, whoops. let me get it in the English side um, but yeah they go over everything really nice uh, AWI is a really really good company these like I said under twenty dollars I just have absolutely no problems with these really enjoyed them um, uh, like I said, put a link to the product in the description. So follow it and check them out for yourself. You'll be relative, you'll, you'll be pretty surprised at how good these actually sound, work, pair. Uh, the noise cancellation was really good. Pairing was simple. It's very fast, as you can see. It pairs automatically. 
Um, pairing the two devices was not a problem. The voice control was uh, easy as pie to do. Uh, I really like that. I like totally being hands free. Uh, playback time wasn't great, but it was enough for me. You know, I was close to four hours of streaming uh, a movie basically, so just using them as straight without in standby time. Um, I made a few calls also within that time. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed them. The sound was, was really good for, for $20 headphones. You know, they're not real bassy. They had a nice mid-range. Uh, they weren't real throaty on the bass, though. So if you're looking for bass, these might not be for you. But if you're just looking for a really nice pair of headphones for you or your kids or whatever, uh, these are really nice. Uh, they sounded good, everything. I played Xbox with them. Uh, movies, music, Pandora, that type of thing. Um, no problems. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to my website, techgeeks.com. It's T-E-C-K, geeks.com. Our social media buttons are on the website, so please uh, like and follow us. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It goes a long way for me. Uh, but you'll also get email alerts whenever I post a new video. And I give away a lot of products. I do a lot of product promotion codes for discounts. Uh, the last product giveaway we had was over $6,000 worth of products. So don't miss out on it. And go ahead and subscribe. It only takes you a second there. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to AWEI. And I will see you guys on the next one.